New Zealand fisherman pulls porcelain doll out of ocean, then realizes it's alive. He noticed that something was floating around in the water. It was an old doll. He was a curious guy, so he pulled it out of the ocean. The man had been fishing these waters for years, but he had never encountered something like this. The doll was made perfectly and he figured he could show it to his wife. Then, the doll made a sound. Jessica White and her partner Josh were dying to go on vacation. Jessica was eager to feel the warm sand underneath her feet, and the smell of the ocean in the air. The couple did some research and found Murphy's Holiday Camp located in Matata, New Zealand. They decided it was the perfect place to take a vacation, but they didn't realize that their vacation was going to be a nightmare. As Jessica and Josh were awaiting the day that they were going to leave for their trip, their anticipation continued to grow. All Jessica could think about was dipping her feet into the water and relaxing in the sun. They had planned the ideal vacation for their family. The couple arrived at the gorgeous campsite and began to set up their camp next to the stunning shoreline. Once they were finished, they were able to enjoy their vacation with Malachi, their 18-month-old little boy. Josh took the opportunity to put his fishing line into the water, while Jessica lounged on the beach. Malachi sat in between the couple, staring out at the ocean, hypnotized by the waves. Malachi just couldn't tear his eyes away from the crashing ocean waves. After all, he doesn't get to sit in front of the ocean on a daily basis. It wouldn't be long before the couple would realize just how much their son loved the ocean. Malachi began to giggle as he dug huge holes into the sand with his tiny fingers. Malachi adored being at the beach. When it was time to go back to camp, Jessica picked up Malachi and kissed him on his salty cheeks, but Malachi just wouldn't stop crying. He kicked and he screamed until exhaustion caused him to collapse into Jessica's arms. As Jessica brought Malachi to bed, she couldn't help but be grateful for her family. Taking a break from their everyday lives and escaping to the beach was exactly what their family needed. However, Jessica would soon find out how grateful she truly was. Once Malachi was sleeping soundly inside of the tent, Josh started a fire and the couple began to talk about their dreams until the late hours of the night. Jessica looked over at Malachi and whispered, my world of love, my firstborn son, the beginning of life, and her heart began to overflow with love. However, her heart would stop the next morning. The couple eventually grew tired enough to go to bed in their tent. They slept so well that they didn't even notice that Malachi had woken up. Malachi had other plans in mind. He quietly woke up in the wee hours of the morning, unzipped the tent, and quietly slipped out. He ran as fast as his could to his most favorite place, the beach. Gus Hutt was spending his morning fishing in the Bay of Plenty, but what he didn't know was that the bay was about to provide something a bit more valuable than fish. In a strange turn of events, Hutt decided to fish near the campsite instead of his normal fishing spot. That was when he noticed something in the water. Hutt watched the object bob up and down in the water. It was far out in the ocean, but Hutt was curious, so he moved his boat closer. That was when he realized that the object was a doll and wondered if it had been taken out with the tide. It was expertly made, so he reached for the doll and pulled it out of the water. He finally grabbed a hold of the doll by its arm and pulled it into his boat. The doll's hair was dark, and its pale skin was unbelievably realistic. It was beautiful and he couldn't wait to show his wife, who would be blown away by the doll's lifelike details. All of a sudden, the doll let out a small squeak and Hut fell to his knees. His face looked just like porcelain with his short hair wetted down, but then and he let out a little squeak and I thought, oh lord, this is a baby, and it's alive, explained Hutt later on. He immediately made his way back to shore and quietly prayed that he had gotten to the baby in time. As Hutt raced his boat back to shore, he couldn't help but think about the baby in his arms. What if the baby didn't survive? All he knew was that he was driving his boat as fast as he could to get the little boy back to safety. Hutt quickly made his way to the campsite, relieved to find that the little boy was recovering nicely. It looked like the baby was a little cold and extremely damp, but he seemed just fine despite what he had just been through. Hutt was astounded by the baby's quick recovery. Hutt immediately began looking for the baby's parents. Luckily, there was only one couple that had a little boy at the campsite, 
and it didn't take long for Hut's wife to find them. She ran to the tent and just shook it and asked, where's your baby? We just pulled one from the sea and the mother just screamed, explained Hut. He was floating at a steady pace with a rip in the water. If I hadn't been there, or if I had just been a minute later, I wouldn't have seen him, Hut explained. He was bloody lucky, but he just wasn't meant to go, it wasn't his time. It wasn't long before emergency services and the Matata Volunteer Fire Brigade showed up. I don't think my heart beat from hearing that to seeing him. I don't think my heart worked, said Jessica, as she explained how she felt the moment she was told that her child was pulled out of the ocean. Luckily, Malachi was quickly released from the Wakatan Hospital. The doctors said that his survival was a miracle. Thankfully, Hutt was in the right place at exactly the right time that day. Later, I followed his tracks down to the beach and saw his little footprints in the sand where he walked in. It was about 15 m away from where I had my rod, so he wasn't in the water long. I must have just missed seeing him go in, said Hutt. But that wasn't the last time he would see Malachi. Jessica and Josh went to Hutt's house to thank him again for saving their little boy. He was wriggling trying to get down to have a look at everything, he was just a lovely, cheeky little fella, said Hutt. Luckily, Malachi wasn't permanently damaged in any way from his dangerous adventure in the ocean. It wasn't long before the story was spreading through social media and everyone believed it to be a miracle. Gus was where God wanted him to be, wrote one commenter. Another one wrote, his guardian angel was on duty for sure. Sadly, not all of the comments were positive ones. A lot of people blamed the couple for what happened to their son, stating that they should have been paying better attention. Some people have said that they're unsure of how Malachi was able to unzip the tent and escape without waking up his parents. But criticism tends to come with the territory of being a parent. Jessica only had one thing to say. Zip your tents up. And zip them up nice and high if you've got a child that can reach. Put them on a padlock. We wouldn't let him run into the water on his own. People can have those, judgmental, thoughts. They can think we're bad parents, stated Jessica. Thanks to Hutt, Malachi is alive and healthy. If he had decided to take a different route on that day or hadn't noticed the porcelain doll floating in the water, Malachi's story may have turned out very differently. Thank goodness that fate brought Hutt and Malachi together that day. This story is proof that it only takes a moment for disaster to strike. This is why Malachi's harrowing tale is a strong reminder that it's important to be grateful for the loved ones in your life.